for the time being, though, let's shift focus back to the markets and let's talk about Dixon Technologies. Those numbers look good on the revenue front. The margins as well look fairly good. And the top line was led primarily by the mobile division. To understand more about the past quarter and the way ahead, we're joined by Mr. Atul Lala. Good morning, Mr. Lala, and congratulations. Pretty good showing out there. The street seems to have liked what you delivered. Give us a couple of details, though. How do you see volumes ramp up, particularly in the mobile segment? For Xiaomi, what is the run rate? Where do you see it headed, say, by the end of this fiscal? And for Nokia as well, what is the monthly run rate you're looking at in the months to come? All this, what does it mean for your revenues? Last year, you did around 4,300, 4,400 crores. Where do you see this number headed for, by FI25? Go ahead, sir. So mobile order book is extremely healthy. Uh, we have already started uh, the trial runs for Xiaomi. The commercial production is going to take off from next month. And in a couple of quarters, we feel that we're going to be almost at half a million a month. That's the way it looks. Okay. Nokia, the present run rate is almost 1.5 to 2 million. And uh, in all probability, we're also going to be starting exports in Nokia. Uh, our other customers, uh, which we have acquired, also get into the execution mode from next quarter. So undoubtedly, uh, mobile is going to be the largest trigger for Dixon's growth. And the numbers are going to be very healthy in the, in the current fiscal and, of course, the next fiscal. Okay. Could you put a number to that, sir? By, uh, say, it, by FY25, where do you see the number headed? It was only 4,500 crores. Some estimates are talking about a number of crores around 20,000 crores. That's by FY26. Uh, you want to give us a, you know, a glide path? I don't want to give you a, a number as such, but please be rest assured the number is going to be huge. Okay, huge. <laughs> we, like, we like huge. Well, uh, Mr. Lal, uh, good morning. Great to have you with us here as always. Prashant here. Uh, so, uh, you know, <clears throat> so that's good to hear the mobile, and that's uh, you know the the, la the la single largest overwhelming uh, segment for you uh, still, uh, even as you diversify into other areas. Uh, on the laptop side, sir, you know I think uh, there is a, a fair bit of anticipation about because last time we had uh, you know you on the program, uh, uh, you know you uh, you left us with this uh, sort of line that you are close to signing up one of the one of the three large sort of laptop makers in the world and we tried to push but at that point uh, you know i'm assuming things were uh, under uh, you know still uh, being sighed and tied up etc can you tell us anything more has it happened so prashant we're very very close to doing that uh, we are awaiting the government's announcement of the itpli2 list uh, we are fairly confident that we're going to be one of the beneficiaries and the discussions uh, with this large global brand in the IT product space is almost at the final stages. We are confident that we are going to be concluding this contract very shortly. And it should get into the execution mode in a quarter or so. And uh, is, is, is this, the announcement will happen after that list is announced, sir? Is, is that what, uh, you know, the player is sure. waiting for? To... Yeah, it's yeah. going to be aligned. It's going to be aligned. Going to be with that. Uh, sir, some sense of the opportunity. I know you won't share too many numbers, but uh, because this is going to be a you know a wide, big avenue stream, I'm guessing, and not immediately, but I think next year onwards, uh, there is uh, a lot of that chatter about the curbs coming in on in terms of you know total imports of laptops. So, give us some ballpark uh, estimation of the kind of revenue opportunity that laptops will present. So, the application that we have filed with the government for ITPLI two. Uh, we have committed a capex of uh, 250 crores. Uh, we have filed under the hybrid domestic category. And we have committed to the government a revenue of 48,000 crores over a period of six years. So that's what our internal estimates and planning is. Let's see how it pans out. It depends upon customer requisition. It de depends upon deepening the value addition uh, within India and within Dixon. So many things are linked to it. Uh, but uh, that's the number we have committed to the government. 250 crores is the capex you've committed. I'm trying to gauge uh, what is a you know possible revenue opportunity that, that you'll look at. Let's say in, in year one, once you're fully up and running, what could be the annual revenue opportunity? And also, what does that do to the margin profile? You know, blended margins have come to about that 4% handle now. So as a product, as a segment, uh, what do laptops mean for margins? 
so uh, the revenue that we have uh, planned for ourselves in this particular domain is 48,000 crores over a period of six years. Let's see how it ramps up. Uh, yeah, we, we, it's very difficult to comment on that number at this stage. The margin profile in this business is also going to be around 3%. And that's the margin in our EMS business. All right. Uh, Mr. Lal, you know, just to a quick point on this mobile opportunity for Xiaomi, is there a maximum cap that they can source from you all, 30% or 50%? Or uh, there's no cap of their requirement? No, there's no, there's there's no, no cap. cap. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good to get clarity on that front. Give us a few more numbers on TV sets as well as on washing machines. Uh, what is the target for this year? Uh, you know, there has been some talk about some slowdown. I think you will look at a number of around 3.6 million odd for TV sets. But give us an updated number for FY24. What do you do? So FY20, last year in 23-24, what we did was uh, around 3.4 million. Uh, let's see how Diwali pans out. This time Diwali is late. So let's see how Diwali pans out. We still stick by the number of around 3.6 million. Okay. And in washing machine, last year we did around 1.4 million. We feel this year we should be able to close it around 1.8 to 1.9 million. Mm. Uh, Mr. Lal, uh, just a word on uh, Geo Bharat as well and how much you're you know, looking to clock in from, from that side. And since mobile is growing at such a rapid, rapid, uh, you know, uh, oh, okay, we are actually speaking of mobiles. We are getting visuals from the India Mobile Congress. We have the Prime Minister there. And we're speaking about Geo. Well, the man himself is present. So it's interesting timing, I guess. Uh, that is a high-profile event that's kicked off in New Delhi. And our team is on ground. We will be bringing you updates, of course, through the course of the day. Uh, that's uh, Prime Minister Modi looking at, uh, you know, all of the, the manufacturers who are present there, Airtel, Geo, and I'm sure a whole host of other uh, handset manufacturers also present at that marquee event. So good, uh, good time to be talking mobiles then, Mr. Lal. Tell us, what's the capex you'll need to put to work? What's the geo opportunity? So we already started producing for this anchor customer class. The ramp up and execution is already happening. So we we feel there is going to be a large business. Yeah, let's see how it pans out. But uh, the execution has already started. In the mobile business, uh, we have already incurred a capex of almost one fifty odd crore this year. Okay, all right. Mr. Lal, very quickly, you spoke about some export opportunity for Nokia, but I think for the business on the whole as well, uh, what is the current proportion coming from exports and where do you see this number trending? So in our last fiscal, in our revenues of almost 12,200 crores, the export contribution was around 1,000 crores. We feel that current year, it should almost double. Okay, so 2,000 crores. And as a percentage of your revenues would be? I don't want to give an overall figure, but uh, <laughs> as I'm saying that uh, the revenue growth in Dixon is going to be much ahead of the industry numbers. And what, what is the industry growth likely to be? According to you, according to your estimate? Well, uh, it's a blended kind of a thing. It's very difficult to say because we are in various businesses. But please be rest assured in Dixon's case, it's going to be an aggressive growth. Okay, just one last uh, okay. question from my side, Mr. Lal. Uh, since... Sorry, this, since this is a, uh, such a, a sort of booming space in terms of, uh, you know, bringing manufacturing home, right? Uh, import substitution in a very large way. Uh, naturally, there will be uh, a fair bit of competition as well. Now, globally, what we've seen is that uh, uh, some of these Taiwanese players are really leaders uh, in uh, electronic manufacturing. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, one assumes that they would, they would also be, they, they're also already participating in many segments quite aggressively, building out plans, etc., how big a factor is that going to be uh, in your assessment and how guarded do you need to be? So undoubtedly the names, uh, I mean, Taiwanese manufacturers, they're iconic companies and we look up to them. In Dixon's case, I think we've acquired now adequate scale. Uh, we generate an operating leverage because across most of the businesses, uh, we have capacities which are more than 30% of what India requires. So we generate an operating leverage we have a huge focus on capital allocation. We are much more frugal. Our return ratios are more than 30%. The balance sheet is not leveraged at all. So at any point of time, for me to raise resources for further investments, we're all committed to it. And also, we are really working uh, on turning in Dixon into some mm. kind of an engineering powerhouse. And that's what the focus is now on automation, on robotics, on manufacturing execution system, on improving the productivity, 
learning and development, talent acquisition. So this this is the way forward for us, and we're really focusing and working on this. Uh, okay. We are confident that we will be able to stand up to this competition. Okay, all right, uh, Mr. Lal, thanks so much for joining and congratulations on a good showing. I think last year you had given a guidance a couple of times and then, you know, it got into a bit of a tizzy. This year, a little bit more cautious, but you're assuring your, our viewers and your investors you're going to outgrow the industry as well. So we'll keep that in mind. Looking forward to having a chat with you rather soon.